Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one stop solution for all your placement needs friends this is Pratik Srivastava here and today I am going to discuss one of the very important topic which has been included by TCS for this year TCS NQT TCS NQT 2021 examination and that topic is none other than decision making so friends what is this new topic that we are going to understand this is the easy topic but if you have not done questions based on that then you will feel it difficult now so friends directions for questions 1 to 5 so study the information carefully and answer the questions that follow so friends this particular topic we need to solve with little patience okay now following are the conditions for selecting a candidate in an organization so let us put this condition 1, condition 2, condition 3 and condition 4. So these are the condition you are going to select a candidate in your organization. Okay. The first condition. So he should be 12th pass and should have obtained 60% in the examination. So it's like how TCS will be putting their condition. Okay. So in 12th, 10th and graduation throughout you should be having 60% okay there should not be any current backlogs okay when you are writing the examination or there should not be more than one backlogs when you are writing the examination there should not be uh, you know more than two years of gap should be there when you are writing the examination so these are the condition that is what is called is decision making so if you want to select a candidate in your organization then he should be 12th pass and have obtained 60% in that examination okay this is the first condition second condition should not be less than 21 year of age and should not have crossed an age of 30 as on 1st of July 2016 must be a graduate in any stream with minimum of 55% marks should have a diploma or a degree or a certificate in computer science so if a student if a candidate satisfy all these four conditions then he will be selected in that organization but there are some exceptions are also there that you need to understand so in the case of a candidate who fulfills all the condition except so any uh, condition if he does not fulfill and if falls under this uh, exceptions then we will see so above so ever but should be a postgraduate case can be referred to a faculty head okay faculty head, right okay now so friends third one must be a graduate in any stream with minimum of 55 percent but suppose a student is fulfilling all the three conditions okay but sorry one two and fourth condition who is fulfilling but in third he is a graduate but he has scored only 50 percent marks okay but if he has done postgraduate okay but if he has done postgraduate then he will be referred to faculty head so his decision will be pending with faculty head okay so he will be getting so friends this is what a exception okay so if he fulfills all the four condition then he will be selected but if he fulfills one two and fourth condition and third condition he does not fulfill then for the third they have given if he has done a postgraduate then we will refer him to the faculty head okay now suppose friends so this is uh, I am telling you friends uh, examples and then I am trying to make you understand the things okay now friends suppose a student first condition fulfilled second condition fulfilled and third condition fulfilled now but he does not have a degree or certificate in computer science okay but so this is referring here fourth one so but he she has studied computer science as one of the subject in their graduation then the case may be referred to department head so if he follows if a candidate follows satisfied all the three conditions except four but in the fourth condition in graduation if he had computer science as one of their subject then he will be referred to department head so the decision will be pending with department head now this is how uh, you have to take the decision so once we will start solving the problem then you will be easily able to understand okay now let us see so friends okay so question number one basically your starts from here so muthu swami 
so question number one let me use some other color pen I'm sorry yeah so red pen okay now question number one so Muthu Swami is an arts graduate with 58 percent marks so must be a graduate in any stream it doesn't matter art science or commerce with minimum of 55 percent so here yes so he is a arts graduate and more than 55 percent so you can see he is satisfying the condition 3 so we have total four condition we will write down here one two three four so he is uh, he's satisfying condition number three right he is a graduate in arts with a, a score of 58 percent now he got 73 percent in the class 12th so in the class 12th okay he should be passed the candidate should be 12th pass with a score of 60 percent in the examination so here it is 73 percent so your condition one also he satisfied his date of birth is 22,990. So friends, if you'll see till uh, 2016, so it will be around 26 years. All right. So they are telling the age should be in between 21 and 30. So condition two also fulfills, right? Okay. Now the fourth one, the fourth one friends, he should have a diploma or a degree or a certificate in computer science. So the fourth information has not been given. So if the information has not been given regarding the computer science certificate then friends then the data is insufficient we cannot take a decision based on that because see um, if the given information is insufficient to answer the question so here friends this will be the answer most of the students will be thinking sir why did not you mark if the candidate won't be selected so if they have given this three this three condition is satisfied if fourth condition if they would have given he does not have he does not have any computer certificate then we could have easily marked that he won't be selected but that information is not given so when the information is not given that means the information is not sufficient to reach to a conclusion that we should select or reject the student or it should be forwarded to department of head or faculty head i hope this you will be able to understand so this is how we are going to take the decisions okay now friends so Rohit passed his BA degree in second class with 58 degree so friends 58% uh, I'm sorry so we have totally four conditions right so in graduation okay so any stream is fine but he should have scored more than 55% yes so third condition we are satisfied with then plus two so he should have done 12th with 60% marks so first condition also satisfies right he did his diploma in computer science okay so computer science so he should have done his degree or diploma in computer science so fourth also satisfies his age will be 34 in 2020 so if you'll see what will be his age now so in 2016 his age will be nothing but 30 years right see if you'll see the condition they are clearly telling so the age should be in between 21 and have not crossed 30 have not crossed 30 so his age will be what his age is what 30 years old so he is satisfying all the four condition so he is 12th pass so you can see here he is 12th pass and more than 60 percent okay he is his age is in between 21 and 30 and he has done his graduation and he has scored 58 and he has done a diploma in the computer science okay so he is satisfying all the condition so the candidate would be selected so option c so if the candidate would be selected so that will be the correct answer so we are going to take the correct decision here now friends question number three so ritwik passed in his class 12th exam with 69 percent condition one satisfied so 12th exam with 69 percent okay so now after which he completed a six month course in computer science then right so then friends he is completing a computer co he is completing six months in computer science right so uh, the condition number third right so condition number third any graduation okay so condition number three if you'll see any graduation with 55 percent and a degree or a certificate in computer science and age should be in between 20 and 30 right okay so first one is done then so he has done a diploma in computer science for six months that is done 
he secured 62 percent in b uh, in b tech so any graduation okay with 55 percent marks and his date of birth is 88 so friends 88 plus 2 will be 90 okay 90 plus 10 will be 2000 and 2000 plus 10 will be 2010 and plus 6 so he will be in 2016 he will be nothing but around 28 years old so as i said the age should be in between 20 to 28 so all the four conditions are satisfied then here also i can say if the candidate would be selected so we are going to take a decision that yes this candidate will be selected now friends question number four so karuna has scored 64 percent in his class 12th so the first condition is satisfied where you have to score only 60 percent in the class 12th and she is known to be a science graduate with 50 percent marks so friends one two three four so here if you'll see here if you'll see so she has done the graduation but graduation but she has only scored 50 percent marks okay so here she is not satisfying the condition she passed her msc but she has done the post graduation okay she also has a certificate in computer science so fourth condition also she is satisfied and her date of birth is 90 so in 2016 she will be around 26 years of old now one two four conditions is satisfied but three third conditions it does not satisfy so friends if you'll see the third condition let me erase everything here so if you'll see the third condition they're telling right so must be a so this is third second one four so must be a graduate in any stream with minimum of 55 percent which karuna is not satisfying so karuna has scored only 50 percent in graduation but if if she has not scored if she is not satisfying this condition okay and if she is a post graduate then the case will be referred to faculty head so faculty head is going to decide so friends you can see so she passed her msc that means she has done uh, her msc right she has done her msc so the case will be referred to faculty head so option a will become the correct answer for question number four so friends decision making questions are really you know or uh, they will be checking your level of patience that how patiently you are going to take a decision so friends all these things we will be doing till your tcs nqt examination so do not forget to uh, subscribe and share with your friends and friends question number five answer i wanted you to give okay in the comment box because i wanted to see how many people are really how many people are really able to answer this particular question and you have understood the concept so i will be waiting for your answer in the comment box so after one day that means today if i will put the video then tomorrow at the same time or maybe tomorrow morning i will put the answer and i will pin it so that you will be able to verify with your answer but this definitely friends in tcs you are going to hit one of the questions and they will be giving the questions in bulk that means you'll be getting three four questions from here now friends there is a good news for you so the good news is friends so we have launched our quiz contest so you have to visit our website online study for you dot in and then you can see the quiz contest okay so quiz and the results and friends so the quiz is free and paid both so free quiz you can take okay so you can take the free quiz so we have put 37 question for 37 minutes so you can start it and then you can solve the questions and you can see your scores okay try to attempt all the questions because we have mandated and friends then you can go for the paid ones so friends paid ones you need to pay 75 rupees so total 10 quiz on latest pattern so friends even the free quiz is having decision making question sdlc so friends all this are uh, the paid quizzes so right now we have five and we have decided the five quiz like tomorrow one 19th one 28th we will be putting one 21st will be putting one so like that till your examination the quizzes will be there and definitely friends the quiz will be always a better way to measure your performance and friends this is unlimited number of attempts so you can see tcs nqt updated pattern to 2021 quiz is live now okay friends timer is there and then tcs nqt updated pattern question questions on aptitude reasoning verbal sdlc 
C programming MCQ and even programs also solutions we have given questions with the proper explanation solution available after the test and unlimited number of attempts along with that friends so in the premium videos so if you'll go premium videos premium material we have also launched the crash course and the special offer for the crash course just 249 rupees friends it's not uh, more and we have covered aptitude reasoning verbal programming and mcqs okay so coding mcqs and you can see total 78 plus videos are there so you will be easily able to cover in the limited amount of time and definitely if you go through the courses the chances of getting selected in the examination will be quite high so like always we have again launched the course so there is a buy now option the price is just 249 rupees this is the last week offer so thank you friends for watching the video and the quiz and the crash course is definitely going to help you a lot